Academy. I'm here today with uh, Ms. Amanda, and Ms. Amanda um, is a uh, Texas uh, State certified uh, given talented uh, teacher, and uh, she uh, is a um, given talented and private kindergarten uh, teachers uh, at Bookhaven Academy. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, your know, given talented uh, children. And uh, so, Ms. Amanda. Um, you know, you are a certified uh, given talented uh, teacher uh, in the state of Texas, and um, so, so, do you enjoy teaching at uh, Bookhaven Academy, uh, working with the um, kindergarten and um, given talented uh, children? I really enjoy teaching um, my classroom here. Um, it's really fun to get to teach children who are really excited about learning. They share my interest in learning. Um, I think it's important to show kids that you're a lifelong learner, too. So it's really fun to teach them because they are really curious and they're really excited about learning. What is the definition of a given talented child? Uh, there are actually several different definitions of gifted and talented, though the one that's most commonly recognized is the federal definition. The federal definition of gifted and talented goes something like this. It's an outstanding child that has outstanding abilities. They are capable of very high performance in their classroom. They need differentiated instruction that goes beyond what a regular classroom can offer them in order to reach their full potential. There are many different areas of gifted and talented, including but not limited to general gifted and talented in all subjects, I'm sorry, specific subject areas, and also in leadership and arts both visual and performing. Well, thank you. Thank you for that definition. And um, so now we know what a given talented uh, child is, but how do you identify them? Uh, I mean, you've got all the kids in the classroom, and uh, how do you identify them and uh, who is given talented? Um, can you share that uh, with us? At this age, I'm looking for indicators that would show that a child is gifted and talented. There are many different indicators, and a child may display a few or many, depending on the child. They show a strong interest in a specific subject area. Um, in that subject area, they will spend a lot of time researching it and really getting into it, wanting to know a lot about it. They're very curious. Um, they show a really good attention span, especially in a subject that they're interested in, and they enjoy learning. They ask a lot of educated questions. They show an advanced sense of humor, as well as a very well-developed vocabulary for their age. They're able to think abstractly, and they, a lot of times, will show early reading. Um, they also persevere even in challenging situations. So I'm looking at students who are displaying some of these characteristics in order to find the, the children that are gifted. What about teaching methods, uh, the pedagogy? Um, is there a special pedagogy for teaching um, given talented uh, children? At Brookhaven, we have a small classroom. It only includes seven children at this time, so, so I can really have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the students, and when I break them into groups, it's very small groups, so that I am able to teach them exactly what they need to know. Um, I assess them quite often to check to make sure where they are and try to keep on top of that to see how they've advanced or if they're struggling with something. Um, it's really easy to see that in a small group, so that's really nice. For teaching methods, I am enriching the curriculum as well as accelerating the curriculum. I'm teaching four-year-olds what five-year-olds would be learning, so the curriculum is accelerated, obviously, but also we want to enrich the curriculum. Gifted students are able to think on higher levels, so we want to engage them in those higher-level thinking skills, including evaluation, synthesis, analysis, so that they are able to use their higher-level thinking skills. Um, it's important to differentiate their curriculum for each individual student, gifted students, as well as any student, maybe on a different level than the rest of their class. So we need to make sure that we meet them where at, we need to make sure that we meet them at their needs. Um, ask a lot of open-ended questions so that they can really um, delve into the subject area. And I'm fortunate to have a low student to ratio, so I get to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with children. Place them in flexible grouping because children change all the time. We need to make sure that they are in the right group for their um, individualized learning. I use all of these things in order to give a well-rounded education to the children um, in my classroom. And those are the methods in which I use to teach my gifted students. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing um, so the definition and how you teach and, uh, and your passion for the given talented uh, children.